All right, what's up, guys? Welcome back to another YouTube video. And today, guys, okay, I want to say this. Um, you guys remember back when you know the game used to be fun? You know, you didn't really have to worry about anyone just trying to fuck with you like that. But you do have those occasional players that just like to do the stupid upon the most stupid upon the most stupid. Basically, I was doing the setups for the Diamond Casino Heist. Uh, I was going to run in one buddy whenever he gets on because he was low on money. Spent most of his money buying cars on F1s for his F1 car collection. So, what you guys are seeing here... <clears throat> Can I be the most stressful situation that anyone can even be in, especially if you're trying to do a mission and you can't even get rid of the cops? Like, you actually gotta manually lose them. You can't call Lester because, you know, whenever you do these kinds of missions, um, you can't really lose the cops like that. Like, you got to, you know, go hide out somewhere for a set amount of time and then you gotta wait until the wanted level goes away before you can actually get back to this uh whatever that you were doing in this case uh, i was doing the one that had the fib um mission where i had to get the briefcase that has the hacking device <laughs> guys as i was on my way up there to get to the elevator these guys come out of nowhere they actually came uh from the back side of the building and then they went up the bridge well the back side of the building of the maze wings tower uh, went up the ridge and then they decided to launch an explosive near me. Cause I'm just like, yo, like what the hell's going on here, right? So <clears throat> these guys wanted to fight, so I gave it to them. So you got a uh, level 138, and I don't know what level the other guy was, but guys, this fight just goes on for a good like 20, like a good 23 minutes. Now what I could have did was was actually you know lose the cops like that but guys i know most of the players in this game here they they ain't even gonna let up it's either you leave or they leave in this case i was not leaving because i'm gonna stand my ground for what i believe in but you know what though these new players that's coming along here what they gotta understand is this is gta and you know some shit that you just do in this game here you just can't really do i mean it's okay like mess around a little bit but you know, whatever just comes down to my missions and shit, you know, like, I just hate it when I'm being fucked up, you know, to where this just impedes, you know, my progress. But at the same time, I don't really feel like that I'm wrong for doing this, but even if you do give a good beating to them the first time, they will continue to do it again. So guys, um, <clears throat> I don't need some people in the comments saying, well, uh, uh you should have left or, you know, why you been beating up on low levels without a good exact reason? I'm the protector, but I think I'm just going to stop being the role of the protector. And, you know, uh, I'm just going to let people just handle their own shit. Because in some fights where I was trying to actually help out other players, when these other players are just literally blind and stupid, they will shoot you for trying to protect them, and they don't even realize that you're even protecting them because they're just so <clears throat> off into another uh, world. But look, what I don't get is is that, you know, low levels do the most absurd and stupidest crap. Like, y'all seen yeah, the clips that I've actually posted on out. this channel? Like, not too long ago, I made a video um, um, where I had something else happen, and you got some people, you know, who want to say that, oh, I'm just a big bad bully because I'm a level 1,000 in 82, 84, 80, 80, 87. Look, I can give zero shits whatever the hell some of y'all don't even know me like that. Um, like, I can give, like, zero shits. But, you know, y'all know the type of player that I am. If I was a tryhard, then y'all would see me post nothing but GTA. Expose this, expose that. When I ain't with all that messy crap. Like, I'm like the quiet kid in the back who you do not want to, like, pick on and mess with. You know, I'm I'm that type of quiet kid. And you know, um 
Like, I will stand my ground and I will do that. But guys, this is something we got to discuss here. New generation of players. Because remember, remember back maybe early 2013, sometime like that between the years. We yeah, never really had this kind of aggression. Go ahead. But these new players that's coming along now, these guys are really aggressive. Like, uh, this is on PS5, and at least on PS4, you know, I didn't really constantly have this issue. But on PS5, this is becoming more and more frequent. You know, players who know better and know the consequences for their own actions, you know, they, they know when to, you know, choose, choose their fights wisely if they know the outcome. But to tell you the truth, you know, most lives that I be in, you know, I don't really have someone that'll want to, like, fight me just, just because I got a mic. But, you know, the other day, you know, well, this wasn't really the other day. This is actually yesterday um, where I was looting the body of an El Rubio guard that was sleeping. You had this deluxo that just came out of nowhere and... When I tell you that I was watching them for a good like 15, 30 seconds on the mini map, and I noticed work. on how he was moving. Now, guys, I'm so psychic to where I will actually I know what most players are actually up to, and most players, you know, who are up to no good, they make it that me. obvious, and like, like the griefing is just getting out of control. Though this is crazy, but going back to what I was saying, so the guy was positioning his vehicle into attack mode. He was turning it side to side like he was getting ready to aim at me. I pulled out a rail gun and I killed him. I sent him a text message in game saying, look, bro, do not mess with me. I don't got time to fight you. Uh, like, I just want to, like, get my grind on, make me some money. Um, guy said that I killed him first. But what you got to realize is that, you know, on, you're on a weaponized again. vehicle that can fly. And it's that easy for me to hit you with a real gun. Now, for me, I shoot first, ask questions later. And the guy, he got mad because I was defending myself. Now, maybe if you weren't, you know, flying like that in a way to where I'm already paranoid and you're already up to no good... You know, work. of course, I'm just going to assume the yeah. obvious. You know, that would be like you being yeah. on an oppressor mark, too. You know, because uh, who's really going to, you know, take someone on a mark, too, so lightly? You know, I'm going to have all hands on deck. Like, I'm not just going to sit there and just, you know, let you just get a free kill on me like that. You know, and I ain't even done nothing to you because like, you can kill me with anything else. Other than those two vehicles, but the Mark II and the Deluxe, so mm, I'm just gonna automatically assume that you just want to fight, just because you want to. And then you know, after I rough you up a little bit, you're gonna leave after what, maybe like five to ten minutes after we're fighting. But some fights that I've actually been in, and, and this fight that you guys are seeing now, this fight goes on for a little while, and I've killed these guys at least thirty to forty times. And I shot this video well over like three weeks ago. Yeah. Uh, I just don't know what it is with like the new generation of players, but this is just crazy. Like I never even expect nothing like this, and you know, I've sent the guy numerous messages. It's like, hey, bro, I don't want to fight you. Leave me alone. I went in the game chat and said a few words. This guy heard me, obviously. Because in what cases are most of these people here playing by themselves and they're inside of a party chat? Because the majority of people who are in a party chat usually play together or they're in separate lobbies. The person here is doing said and such activity and they cannot be with this person here because they're with said and such person doing that activity. <coughs> so, it's obvious that the guy actually heard me, you know, said a few words to him instead of messages, but he wanted to continue to fight. But guys, I'm going to let you guys do the rest of the video. I do say a couple of vulgar things. So YouTube, please do not uh, uh, punish me and put this video up for report because I have a right to express my uh, express myself. 
All right, uh, if you guys like the video, please give it a thumbs up and enjoy the rest of the gameplay. I'm going to talk to y'all later. Bro, you're gonna need more than that Kanjali to stop me. You need a whole freaking uh, battalion. You're stupid as you look. Bro, I think he's probably breaking his controller right now. Come on, yo, I can't. I can't be lying. I'm lying from trying. Come on, bro. I know you big mad right now. I'm breaking your controller in your headset, whatever else that you got in your room. Because it's so frustrated because you can't get a kill on me. Seeing as you chose this fight. So you deal with it. You face the consequences. Don't expect anyone to try to feel sorry for you. I don't feel sorry for nobody. I mean, y'all could have just kept rolling instead of just trying to, uh killed me messing up my mission. I, I can't even lose this one on level now. I can't even lose it. Basically, this is what happens when you make uh, stupid decisions. This is why you mind your own business. Decide to pick a fight with me. So you know, um you can face the consequences like a man. I, I got over three hundred and forty million dollars. Constantly buying sticky bombs is actually a pro for me. This is a bad thing for you, so I suggest that uh, both of y'all leave. I'm not gonna stop. Y'all do this shit like goddamn stars, bro. They, they'll be as worse as me. I think I've seen them catch me. I'm far worse than them. Ah, you're running a building, bro.
Bro, that was so stupid. Get out of here. And then your mama tell you not to go messing with level a thousand. Could have sworn that she did. If you know better, you stay out the way. All that roll around inside the side of first person is not gonna help you, little man. It's not gonna help. Oh, what you gonna do? Go get an oppressor mark two? I promise you, bro, you get that mark two, it's. It's gonna be over with it for you. I promise you. Those ain't, <laughs> those ain't words, bro. That is a promise. It's gonna be over for you if you get that mark too. The seeing as that, that is the only thing that you can get to defend yourself. Cause you know you finna get dookied on like right now. You see, what did I tell you? Put that Mark II down, boy. Put it down, boy. You don't want no smoke with me. Okay, kiddos, this guy is still on me. I'm saying, look, y'all try to give low, low levels a chance, but they're too freaking stupid and sloppy. You see, look at him. This dude don't even know better. But you see, that is why whenever I do business battles, I'm gonna I'm gonna take every low level I see as a threat. Okay. But I think this new generation of low levels have have had that Pookie and Ray Ray ending. So that's why I'm not as friendly anymore as I used to be. Give me that $10,000, boy. That's my money. Bro, I can even get the money back from the mother. There's a stupid glitch that's going around. But I guess while I can, I can actually try to go and lose this one another. Yeah, and I knew my vehicle was going to be impounded by the cops, but yet, I still came over this way. So I'm going to try to lose this one another. But I really got to get this mission made. Because I don't got any more freaking snacks. Like, I'm out. Fighting this idiot. But watch, he's actually gonna keep coming this way. He's, he's, he's trying to get another Mark II. I'm just gonna freaking kill, my, kill myself with that actually. You know what happens. I don't know what this guy's friend is at. I mean, maybe he might have must have left the lobby. Like, they gave him a beat down. time is it because bro don't daylight savings go back like tomorrow are you sweating i'm sweating over here come on you see bro i got like five minutes left i mean it may be enough time for me to get get the mission done but i gotta deal with this city matter of fact though i'm not gonna let it get to me there's plenty of things that I can do in like five minutes.
I mean, I'm ghost of Kobe, bro. Like, I'm a jack of all trades. Of course I can get the key card in like five minutes. But that, that actually may be enough time because I'm just gonna get in it and get out though. But I kind of like this one as like the best mission. Cause you know what though, I'm doing this for my I'm best friend, my brother. Okay, like going dark. Said, You've got one minute. Wanted uh, more money to buy cars for his F1 garage. Pretty much his goal is just to fill up this whole garage with F1, so he needs money. Freaking burstness to deal with. My question is, is he retarded enough to come back over here this way? I finally got the hacking device. Uh, again. Yo, I'm just tired of giving down beatdowns, bro. Like, people gonna learn to leave people alone. You always gotta jump in your business. Definition of cringe, tryhards. There's a business battle going on. Wait. Oh, crap, is that one? Mm, I might be able to make it. Shit, if there's anything left. Gee, excuse me. Well, sir, you walked into me. I'm walking here, not on a damn one. Uh, by the way, I will have a video showing you guys how to get the new uh, Cluck and Bell uh, raid outfit. Uh, that's the one that has the uh, military thing. You're on PS5, you will have a hard time. The reason why I say that is because you have to go AFK for like 15 minutes. But I will explain everything that you will need to do in the video. issue that we are having now what I don't understand is if it, if it was uh, some American citizens attacking a police officer we would be gunned down but apparently some of these cops are actually too weak to put a bullet in them number two um Venezuelan uh, migrant uh, or immigrant whatever Whatever this guy was, he ended up killing his own woman. And you got six other of them. Uh, they were preying on little girls. And then Joe Biden going on friggin' the friggin' news and saying that, oh, migrant issue is a big, big problem, but you're the one who friggin' allowed it. And you see, bro, this is why I, I say do not ever vote here in America. I say vote vote for someone who actually has some sense, like Donald Trump. Because he's, he, he's actually going to fix this Dude, issue. nobody can even understand you. You're, you're 100 miles away from your microphone. Uh, I'm talking to my YouTube audience. Look who it is. Hey, if the cops raid this place, you and me can handle it. Jesus Christ. When the, oh, okay, it's up here. All right. Hey, I'm working. I promise. 
Get out of my nightclub. Yeah, guys, we don't got much longer left in school. Got like a solid like until December of this year. I don't gotta work a nine to five again. Right, and I'm gonna say this though, y'all like y'all either better off starting your own business or going to college. I'm telling y'all, that little nine to five life, it just ain't worth it. Right now, you actually got parents setting these kids up to go freaking work at the Amazon factory. I mean, I would never, you know, set my kids up like that. Like, I'm just, like, like I'm just that type of person. Like, I ain't going to set my kids up for failure. Having them slaving over corporations and stuff like that. But you see, that's just how America runs. Amer America runs on corporations. Ah, finally the tryhard comes on the mic. For I'm waiting for that nigga right here to get on this damn fucking thing. Bro, why are you dick riding me for? Hey, the dick rider came on the mic. Ain't that a bitch? Stay, bro. Why don't you tryhards go kill your uh go uh kill each other? Hey, you sound better. You fixed your microphone. That's like my question. Why don't y'all tryhards go actually fight someone who actually cares about the score instead of someone that who doesn't? Uh, I think you're overthinking it. It's not a, let's just make it make some sense now. Y'all continue to fight players that who do not care about what the score is. They care about money. So why uh, fight someone that actually cares about money and then you get mad when you, um, when they tell you that they don't care about the score? Now you, bro. This is like so crazy. It is. But I hope GT6 does not have a modded account problem, but who am I kidding? It's Rockstar Games. They let their own little security breach happen to GTA 6. Corporate suits reaping all the rewards, but yet the people who put the actual work in don't get anything. The only thing they get is a pizza party. <laughs> 